Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Happy Halloween. By the time you guys see this, obviously, it's not going to be Halloween anymore. But I wanted to come on here and start the vlog today. Um, I am feeling so much better. Thank the Lord. Just a lot going on. But I'm back, and I appreciate you guys being patient with me for the past two weeks. Um, so, yeah. We are going to, we actually did quite a few things today and this week. Last night we went to, gosh, what did we do last night? We went somewhere. It was a trunk or treat. Okay. A local church. A local church did something. It was really cool. They did like a trunk or treat type thing, but it wasn't in cars. They had like little tables set up like all throughout. And the kids went through the tables and then they had like this screen set up outside where we can all social distance. And they played Monster Inc, which we hadn't seen. And like all this stuff was free. They gave us like free popcorn, like a free candy bar, a free soda. It was really nice. So we did that last night. And then today um, I went to CVS to pick up, uh, pick up a prescription. And then the Harley Davidson store was having this little thing, which I wasn't a fan of. I'm going to be honest, just because of the fact that a lot of people were not wearing masks and I was just like, and then I felt like this one lady was like a little rude to my kids. So I was just like, <laughs> the little mama bear came out in me of her, but I was like, mm. but yeah, I also, my lashes, I might look a little weird, but my lashes, they were bothering me and they had like fallen off. So I was just like, let me take them off. I'm not sure if I'm going to do more to my makeup or if I'm just going to leave it this way. I also am not sure if I'm going to wear this top or if I'm going to wear something else. It's actually for the first time on Halloween, I think in like a record, it's actually going to be chilly tonight. And it's actually been really nice today. It was like 72. It was like 40 something degrees this morning. I was like, what? It was like 85 yesterday. This weather has been so bipolar i'm kind of over it it's supposed to be like low 70s all this week and then like next weekend i think it's supposed to be like back up in the near 80s i'm just like <sighs> anyways good news is this thursday is four weeks post-op and i figured instead of calling my doctor i'm just going to start walking this week because y'all i'm not gonna lie i have been so off track since a week prior to my surgery so almost five weeks and I just can't anymore and I'm really working hard on this all or nothing mentality that I have and it's like I know I can lose weight without exercising but when I don't feel good I don't want to do things and it's just harder for me to eat healthier and anyways I'm not going to bore you guys with that I just want to say that because I'm going to start working out and I think I'm going to start going outside to do so. But um, we have a little bit of walking in today and then of course we'll get in some walking tonight while we're trick-or-treating. But yeah, y'all, I'm going to start walking. I got to get this body right. Oh no, I keep getting off track. So yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying your Halloween. This is the last year that I have not dressing up i'm gonna dress up next year and i'm gonna do something really creative and really fun because i just realized like i never do anything for halloween it's always about the kids but they're getting older now and i'm like i want to have the fun too so anyways we're gonna go probably won't show you anything because you know like in the neighborhood and stuff but i'll probably see you guys tomorrow i'll show you guys the kids costumes and then i'll see you guys tomorrow so i'll see you guys later so we are all ready to go. Here is, what are, what are you again? Oh, Chaco. Oh my God, my voice. <coughs> oh, Chaco. Oh, Chaco? Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought there was more to it. And then this guy over here. Ooh, he's scary. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Not really. We went last night to the church and he got so many compliments on his mask. I just got it from Amazon. But I'm going to turn the lights back on. And then you don't get to see my cool mask. That's his outfit. Well, you can still see it. So we are about to take a few pictures. And then we are headed out to a trick or treat. 
and we'll see you guys later. So it is, what day is it? Thursday. It's Thursday. Me and Ava are about to run to Goodwill. I have some things to take back to Ulta. There's T3. Not good. And then we also have to run to Michael's because she got a gift card for her birthday. And she wants to spend it there and get some artsy stuff. So, yeah, this week has been one where I'm having to catch up because um, I hadn't been doing much for like the past five weeks. So, it's been a very busy week, but very uneventful for the vlog. So I figured today, since we're going out, I would pick up the camera and vlog and take you guys with us. I totally forgot my tripod because it was up in my, um, what's it called? It was up in my office and I was like, you know what, I'm not going up there. But you guys know what I just realized? Today is Thursday. I am four weeks post-op, which means I might be able to start dancing again. I went for a walk last night with my friend and I didn't feel any pressure or any pain or anything which weeks prior like when I would go for a walk I would feel a lot of pressure and like not pain but I would feel kind of sort of a like slight bit of pain on my left side so I didn't feel any pain yesterday so I think that I might actually be fully healed so I would love to know if I can start dancing. We'll see. I shut my eyes, trying not to speak, pretend that I'm dreaming. I smell your breath, not listening, but I still hear you screaming. Going under. One step away till you hear what I'm saying. The clouds are closing in You see, I know this But the last days in real life I've noticed Losing focus Breaking up from our life as we know it If someone had told me That I will take off And find something greener Greener than gold Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Is coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. Oh, and the sun said it is just getting better on a blanket with the skyline painted in blue. Ooh, yeah, that's what we do. We'll be chilling and having okay, a good, so good two things. Hold on, let me put on some sanitizer. Um, first of all, y'all, we walk in there like nothing. Bless you. We walk in without our masks. <laughs> and let me tell y'all, it was so nice to not have to worry about a mask on your face and having to breathe. Oh, it was beautiful. But then I realized, crap. We're not wearing our masks. 
So we had to come back out here, get our masks. Um, I told myself, I am not going to buy anything because y'all, Michaels, they have their Christmas stuff. And I'm like, I'm not going to buy anything. Can I have the sanitizer? Oh, it's right here. Um, so yeah, not going to buy anything. And then, <laughs> I see all the Christmas stuff and I'm like, Ava, I want to get a pencil tree for the dining room. And I want to get this little four foot tree for my <laughs> office, for my background, for my, for my videos. You want to open it? Sure. And she's like, no, mommy, you said you didn't want to buy, buy anything. And I'm like, oh, but I really want it. I totally would have gotten them however hold on <coughs> I would have gotten them however the only reason why I did not was because I would then have to the, the expensive part really not is not necessarily the tree because it would have been $75 for both trees that's not too bad and then it may have been an extra 30% off because all the Christmas stuff was 30% off unless the price marked was 30% off I'm not sure but I hope the lighting's like okay I feel like it's all wonky but anyways that would have been bad I would have had to then buy ornaments and buy garland or buy ribbon or you know buy a star that's where like the money comes in so I was like yeah no I'm not gonna do it but I was tempted I was so tempted because I really do want a Christmas tree in the dining room and I want a pencil tree but you girls gotta save her coin, so we're not gonna do it. But I did find something that I was like, it was totally my decor, and you guys have already seen that. But it was this uh, this section where it was just all white and silver, and I was just like, oh my gosh! So I was like totally drawn to it, and I went over and it had, which I'll show you guys, which I already showed it to you. I put it in the cart, but yeah, it was so freaking cute. So I didn't spend much. It was like. It was 30% off of 20 and then I bought those mints, so it wasn't that much. Um, definitely less than $30, so I'm like, I'm okay with that. And plus, we all, like she was, Ava was like, yeah, don't spend money, but you can spend money on that. <laughs> and I'm like, uh-huh. Also, I met a subscriber, Andrea. Oh my gosh, I remember her, I for, what was her was name? Like I have no idea. I am so sorry. I Like when I came to vlog, I remembered and then I forgot, I'm so sorry, but you were so sweet, and if you're watching this, hi, it was so nice to meet you, and I am the worst when it comes to names, so please don't take offense. I know it wasn't Andrea, because I have a friend named Andrea, and I would have remembered that, because I would have correlated. Anyways, we're about to head over to Alta. I have to take back these T3 um, wands. I bought two of them and then I also have some It Cosmetics foundation that I ended up not liking. So we're gonna head on over there and I think that's it, right? We're gonna go, we're gonna head on over to Ulta. Oh, Sean Mendes is on, I gotta go. His new song is on the radio, so I got to go, bye. So we are back, um, went to Ulta, returned those curling irons and then I was going to look for, I wanted to have some fun colors for liner so I can like put in my waterline. And I'm kind of mad. I should have, I wanted, as I was like swatching everything, I was like, dang it, I wanted a hunter green. And I did not get a hunter green. But I got everything else that I wanted. So hold on, I'm gonna show you the swatches. So there's the swatches. That blue one is intense. And then that pukey green, I'm not, I don't know if I like it that much, but it is what it is. So, yeah, $31 for one, two, three, four, five, six liners. And that's that. Oh, here's my little Christmas thing. Isn't it so pretty? I don't know if I'm going to keep it here. It does look good here, though. Huh? This expires on Monday. Uh oh. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I'm going to keep it here or not. I just have it here because I still have, obviously, like all of my fall stuff over there. But yeah, 50 days till Christmas, 40 days until my surgery. Hey guys, so it is Friday, 1.36, and I'm about to edit this. Why am I like, what? where's the, where's the lighting? Where's the good lighting? Anyways, I'm about to edit this. I... Um, first thing I was supposed to, and I wanted to 
film me and the kids cleaning off the porches. It's something I've been putting off for like three months now. And it was so, like, it it needed it so bad. But I totally forgot. Um, we just came down here, ate breakfast this morning, and I was like, let's get to it. Let's not go back upstairs. Because if we do, then we're going to, you know, get into working. And we're not going to feel like doing it later. So went ahead and got that done first thing this morning. Then I did some filming. And now I'm about to do some editing. So that is pretty much going to be my day. I don't know if me and the kids are going to do something tonight. If something, if so, we might do something like maybe take a car ride or something. Because I do kind of want to get out of the house. <clears throat> but I do have to make sure that I get some editing done. This done. This edited. This uploaded. Scheduled for Sunday. And then I also need to edit something else to get to a sponsor. So lots of editing done today or to do today. And then I also am working on the laundry as well, which is upstairs. And I think that's everything. Yes, so very busy month in November and December. I have a bunch of sponsorships coming up, so I have to get all of that situated and written down. I think that this is the most that I've ever gotten in a holiday season. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited about that. I'm probably, I was going to decorate this week, but I'm thinking I might decorate tomorrow night. And like I said, that's going to be a completely separate video. Also, I'm super excited to show you guys. I finally, finally, finally ordered a rug from my kitchen table. I was just so tired of like every time we sit down, it's constantly moving. The chairs are scratching up the floor. We did so much of like putting these little things on it so it wouldn't and those are constantly coming off and we find them everywhere and then on top of that the table's constantly moving so we'll have it directly up underneath the light let me show you let me turn around so we'll have it like I'm sorry like it's so bright the window is kind of like messing with the light but we'll have it like directly up over the light and then as time goes on it'll literally move and it'll be like right here and the table will be right there and all the chairs so it's like super close this way instead of being close that way so I can't wait to show you guys that in next week's vlog because I'm supposed to be getting it tomorrow which is super exciting but also super shocking because I literally ordered it yesterday and I got a notification I think it was this morning saying it's supposed to be here tomorrow so I was like heck to the yes so you guys will see that also in next week's vlog um, like I said I think I'm gonna do the Christmas decorate with me like its own separate video I really <laughs> y'all I'm struggling so bad because I told myself no Jill you do not need another tree like you don't need but I keep thinking about those trees that I saw yesterday at Michael's and I think that they were like an extra 30% off. I don't know, but it was like one, the pencil tree would look so good in the dining room and then that way we could have a tree like right there with the blinds so people from the street can see it. Um, I was also thinking because I have like a tree and there's really no corner in here and you guys know my bedroom is so big so I was thinking about putting the big tree up there and then if we got the four foot tree look where I could put it. I could totally put it down here right in that little corner and it would be so cute or I could put it right there and move Bella's bed. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think I should do? I was thinking of putting the big tree right here and moving this over into that corner where you guys, where I just showed you guys. So having the tree right here. I mean, I think with the ceilings being as high, if I were to have another tree, which I was looking at that four foot tree at Michael's and I was thinking about putting it in my office. But then I remembered that I have those tabletop trees and that would look better in my background than the four foot tree. So maybe, I don't know, what do you guys think? It's, it's like $75 for both trees, which isn't bad. But then, like I said yesterday, it's one of those things where it's like, that's not the really expensive part. You know, you got to go get the ornaments and, you know, you can get, you know, once you kind of pick your colors and whatnot, you can probably do it for fairly inexpensive i'll have to look and see what what ornaments i have i may actually have several different color schemes and if that's the case then i will definitely at least get a pencil tree for in the dining room so that way i can have something for the for the people to see in the front and i don't know what i'm gonna do 
I have, well, I had these net lights that go over bushes. So that's what I had. I have columns in the front of my house. So I'm wondering if I should do that. I also have these little trees that trees that are like very heavy that go out there. Um, I'm going to have to get some lights for one of them though because the lights blew last year. So anyways, I'm super excited about uh, doing uh, uh, decorating for Christmas. Every time I look at my, see I still have my Halloween stuff up. I need to go ahead and take that down today and we probably will tonight because there's not a whole lot of Halloween stuff to be honest. Um, and we can just kind of throw that in the thing so that way uh, in the bin out there and that way when we're ready to start decorating for Halloween for Christmas we can just like not have to worry about getting that stuff up. Um, I was also thinking of possibly you see there's like that pumpkin right there and then there's like a couple of other like kind of fancier pumpkins. I might leave those out. Um, until Thanksgiving. Can y'all believe that Thanksgiving is less than three weeks away? Christmas is in 49 days. My surgery is in 39 days. And I will never have another period ever again. Okay. I love you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know I have been so MIA and you guys have reached out to me on every platform that I'm on. And I appreciate you guys. I love you guys so much. I'm sorry I've been so MIA. When I get like that, I really do tend to kind of go in and isolate. And I know it's not good. It's something I'm working on. But I do appreciate you guys and your prayers and your kind words and your encouragement you guys are amazing and the best and I love you so very much and I'll see you guys next week but hopefully before that because hopefully you don't just watch my vlogs love you guys bye